Who were the first Americans? If you've ever taken an introductory anthropology course or read about the origins of the Americas, then you might know that anthropologists once believed that a single founding population known as the first Americans gave rise to all subsequent populations in the Western Hemisphere. But over the last few decades, genetic and archaeological evidence has revealed a more complex and exciting reality. And now scholars are piecing together a clearer picture of just who the first Americans really were and how they got here. This is our digital channel, and today we're answering the question, who were the first Americans? One of the most popular theories about the origins of the Americas is what is called the Bering Land Bridge Theory. According to this model, all Native American populations descend from a single ancestral population known as the first Americans, who migrated across a land bridge that connected Siberia and Alaska during the last ice age, around 12,500 years ago. This idea was popular in the early to mid-20th century, largely because it fit with the prevailing understanding of human evolution. The theory posited that humans evolved in Africa and migrated out of Africa in a single exodus, replacing all other hominin species and eventually making their way to the Americas via the Bering Strait. It also fit neatly into a Eurocentric narrative that cast Europeans as the pinnacle of human evolution, having left Africa first and then populated the rest of the world. However, starting in the 1970s, fossil discoveries in China revealed a much more complex picture. Starting in 1971, Archaeologists unearthed fossils from a new hominin species, Homo erectus, in the Zhukudian area of China's North China Plain. These fossils pushed back the timeline for the emergence of Homo sapiens in Asia by at least half a million years, suggesting that Asian and European populations shared a common ancestor much further back in time than previously thought. And by the 1980s, genetic evidence revealed that modern humans from different parts of the world shared more genetic similarities than had been expected, which suggested that there was more than one migration out of Africa. Rather than a single exodus, geneticists proposed multiple back-to-Africa migrations, whereby humans in Europe and Asia each interbred with different African populations on multiple occasions. More recently, genetic evidence has revealed that some indigenous populations in the Americas show evidence of having interbred with another extinct hominin species known as the Denisovans. The Denisovans are thought to have branched off from the Neanderthals roughly 600,000 years ago and are known to have lived in Asia and Oceania. But until recently, we didn't have any evidence of them in the Americas. Then, in 2021, a study published in the journal Science Advances reported that through genetic testing of ancient remains found in Mexico and Chile, the researchers found that these individuals had between 4 and 11 percent Denisovan DNA indicating that interbreeding took place sometime before the initial split between the ancestors of the two groups approximately 13000 years ago. However, it seems likely that this interbreeding actually took place in Asia rather than in the Americas. One of the authors noted that the presence of the Denisovan genome in Native Americans is best explained by interbreeding events that occurred in eastern Siberia at the eastern edge of the ancient land bridge connecting Siberia and North America. But just how did these ancient people get to the Americas? Well, according to the Bering Land Bridge theory, that was easy peasy. They just strolled across a piece of land that connected Siberia and Alaska when the sea levels were low during the Ice Age. However, recent research suggests that this land bridge may not have existed at all. For most of the Pleistocene epoch, the ice sheets in North America extended so far south that the Bering Sea remained frozen and any land bridge that may have formed was covered by ice. Recent research suggests that the only possible window for crossing into North America was between about 14,500 and 13,000 years ago when rising temperatures lowered the sea level enough for a land bridge to emerge from the ice. The problem is that this window doesn't align with any of the genetic evidence. The oldest currently known sites occupied by humans in North America date to around 13,500 years ago, 
which rules out the possibility that people arrived right at the end of the Pleistocene. So where did the first Americans come from? Where did they go after they arrived? And what happened to them? Before we get to those answers, remember that there are many ways to get from Siberia to North America. If the Bering Land Bridge wasn't an option, maybe they took a raft or a boat. Did ancient people use boats? Actually, yes. Evidence for maritime technology dating back at least 12,000 years has been found throughout the Pacific Ocean Basin. If you've done any sort of long-distance sailing in your life, you may be familiar with something called a prevailing current, a current of water that moves steadily in one direction. The Bering Strait is located within the larger North Pacific Current, which travels from east to west, making it very difficult to sail east. Unfortunately, the prevailing currents of the Arctic Ocean make sailing south extremely difficult. Between the prevailing currents and the pack ice, it is unlikely that sailing ships could have traveled south along the coast of Siberia or north along the coast of Alaska. So if a seafaring journey was necessary, then the Pacific coast of North America and the Siberian coast both seem like the most likely destinations. The first archaeological evidence for human occupation in the Americas comes from three separate sites on the Pacific coast of North America. Two of these sites, Cactus Hill in California and the Manus Masta site in Oregon, contain stone tools that have been dated to between 14,000 to 100 and 13,000 to 100 years ago. A third site known as the Buttermilk Site in Washington contains tools made from animal bones that date back to approximately 14,000 years ago. Interestingly, analysis of the stone tools from Cactus Hill revealed that they share similarities with stone tool assemblages found in Japan, Korea, and China. This suggests the possibility that the makers of these tools may have come from somewhere in East Asia. All of this evidence points toward a more complex model for the peopling of the Americas that challenges the traditional narrative of a single founding population. Rather, the archaeological and genetic evidence points towards multiple founding populations. But when did people arrive in North America and how did they get here? Well, as we mentioned earlier, the oldest currently known sites occupied by humans in North America date to around 13,500 years ago. But in 2021, a previously known site in Chile known as Monte Verde yielded a new date of 14,500 years ago, making it the oldest currently known site in South America. This pushes the timeline for human arrival in the Americas back by at least 1,000 years. And just how people got to South America is still a bit of an open question. Some have suggested that the people who made their way to Chile did so by traveling down the coast of what is now Western North America. Others have suggested that they came by boat, either in a raft or on a ship. Perhaps some groups did travel down the coast and others did take a seafaring journey. The reality may be that a combination of methods was used and multiple routes were taken. As for how long this process took, some scholars believe that it happened quickly. In his book 1491, New Revelations of the Americas Before Columbus, author Charles C. Mann argues that a significant portion of Native American populations may have arrived in a single migration wave that peaked about 13,500 years ago. Other scholars, however, argue that the peopling of the Americas was a drawn-out process that spanned thousands of years. In a 2021 article published in the journal Quaternary Science Reviews, researchers proposed that humans colonized the Americas in two main waves. The first wave began around 20,000 years ago with small groups arriving in North America and then spreading southward. The second wave started around 14,500 years ago, possibly from an unknown site in Siberia. Both waves contributed to the ancestral population of the Native Americans, although the second wave was likely more significant. Ultimately, we may never know exactly who the first Americans were or how they got here. But through archaeology, genetics, and other avenues of research, we're gradually uncovering a clearer picture of this ancient history. What we do know is that the story of the first Americans is not a straightforward one, 
but rather a complex tapestry of multiple migrations, interbreedings, and journeys across vast stretches of ocean. It is a story that challenges traditional narratives and highlights the incredible adaptability and resilience of the human spirit. So what do you think? Were you surprised to learn that the first Americans may not have been a single founding population? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, if you love learning about ancient history, then be sure to subscribe so you can join us for more journeys through time.